Hi, in this video we will learn how to display loading image or loader when Ajax call is in progress or when you get a data from the database and if you want to show some loader while your data will retrieve from the database. So in this video we will give live demo for, to you so you will get idea how to get data from the database and at that time we will show some loader. So here you can see we take one live demo we already created here. So here you can see when I click on this get data with Ajax at that time this loader will display. Here you can see when I click on this get data with Ajax button at that time we show some loader here right. So how is it possible? So in this video we will see step by step how to get this data from the database and at that time we will show our one loader or one loading image in this example right so here you can see so in this demo we will see step by step how to configure this code into your website or into your project so here you can see in step one we simply create one table like calendar event master right so if you are using a database then you must have to copy paste this sql and execute this sql into your database or you must have to go to your PHP my admin and execute this query right and now you need to create one simple file you need to create one HTML file so here you can see you must have to copy paste this code into one HTML file right we already created that HTML file here you can see we created one HTML file like index.html so simply I open that file now here you can see these are simple HTML file here we take one button get data with Ajax and here will display one table and inside this table will get data from the database while we are clicking on this button. So here you can see we take one button with name get data with Ajax and here you can see we take one table with name column name is equal to event name start date end date so here you can see event event name start date and end date so we we will simply display our data in this table right so step by step we will see here you can see we need to require some library which is useful for JavaScript code here you can see we use jQuery min.js library for uh, some JavaScript code here in a further code we will call one Ajax block so for Ajax block we need to require this jQuery min.js and here you can see we also included some bootstrap min.js and bootstrap min.css CSS that file will use to display our or uh, to designing purpose so here you can see we use some bootstrap designing and some bootstrap functionality so that's why we included this two library right now now here you can see we write some custom css code so here you can see we declare one division here you can see where we will set our loader here you can see with class loader div and class loader image right so here you can see and for that we write it down some custom css code so inside this inside this division will display our gif so you must have to download one gif right so here you can see we already downloaded download one gif so you must have to use this gif i already shared this gif file image file so here you can see we use this loader in our project so you can also download from loading dot io you can download your loader or gif from this website right you must have to go to this website and you can generate your GIF whatever you want so you here there is so many GIF are there so you must have to use this GIF okay 
here we use this ajax loader gif i also said this loader gif so here you can see we include this gif here right so here you can see when you inspect at that time here you can see this gfl display right so you must have to use this gf and set inside this division now how to programmatically show and hide this loader when you are get the data from the database right so for that here you can see we declare uh, one table and with id is equal to dynamic data inside this t body will get the data from the database and set that data inside this t body with id dynamic underscore data so how to get data from the database here you can see we declare one function while we are clicking on this button at the time we call one function like display underscore data so so this function will declare here right inside this script tag we declare this function right and also you can follow our blog you can also get an idea from our blog so here you can see we call one function display data right so here you can see we call this function here the most important part is what when you click on this button at that time this function will call and inside this function we call one ajax block right and by using this ajax block we will call one file like display data dot php right so we can also open this file display data dot php okay so here we call that a file and the most important part is what when your ajax block or when your this function will call at that time we will show our loader it means when you click on this button when you click on this button at that time this loader will show right so here you can see we write some logic here or we use some javascript function here so loader div it means what we already created that div here so here you can see we already created that division and inside this division will set up our ajax loader gf so whenever you click on this button at that time will so our gif it means so our division it means inside this division we will set one gif that gif will so so here you can see when i click on this so you must have to see here display colon none but when i click on this button at that time here you can see display is block right so when i click on this here you can see display colon block it means by using this so method you can style will be add dynamically like display colon block it means your division will so right now here you can see when you call this function at that time we get data from the database so by using this display underscore data dot php here we writing some query and get data from the database right so here you can see first we connect uh, database connection so for that database connection you must have to you must have to pass this host name username password and your database name right and include this file database connection dot php after that we will get data from the database right and once your data will come it means count we will check is there any data it means is there any data then we will set dynamic data it means we will set some dynamic data inside this variable and after that that dynamic data will pass inside this array so once your data will once your data will get from the database then that data will store inside this data array right and that array will pass by using this 
json encode method it means this method will be used to send a response into your ajax block so here you can see we use json underscore encode method will use to response your data into your ajax block here you can see we check this response status is equal to true it means that status we also pass here once your data will come to your database then we'll pass status some message and our data right so here you can see your response is equal to true it means your data will come from the database right so that data will pass inside this dynamic data so here we already declared that id dynamic data so we pass that all the data inside this dynamic data id so here you can see when i when i click on this button at that time our ajax block will call and get a response from the database here you can see status is equal to true message successfully and our data like this this all the data will pass inside this id so here you can see inside this id we pass all the data inside this t body once your data get from the database we need to hide our ajax loader or our loader so here the most important this is the most important because we have so our loader but when we need to close this loader once our data will come from the database and we need to set this data in our web page it means finally we need to hide our loader so we simply use hide method so here you can see loader div it means our class name dot hide method so by using this hide method we can close our or we can hide our loader so here the simple logic when you click on any button or when you call this ajax block then you must have to show your loader and after that you must have to hide this loader right and is there any error or something then you must have to hide this loader because if is there any error then you must have to hide this loader so and you can also display our your message and everything right so this is how you can show and hide this loader the most important you must have to remember this method this dot show and dot hide so here you can see when i click on this method now here you can see when i click on this button that at that time we get the data from the database and set that data in this web page and after that we will close this loader so this is how this simple ajax loader will work or you can show or hide this ajax loader or any gif or any image so this is how this demo will work and if you have any query while setting this code or i will set this all the source code or all this file with you so you can download this source code from my blog so here you can see i already provide this source code so you can download this source code from my blog so i will set this my blog link in my video description and i hope you will like this video and i hope you can subscribe our channel and thanks for watching this video